costs in you know a few years. Uh, oh, I would geez. guess about ten dollars. Yeah. Oh. I, <laughs> $10. No, this dress. Now, Rob Fowler's desk. Now, that's different. Yeah, that, that'd be priceless. Yeah, yeah. What about my dress, guys? It was a cute dress. Oh, I'll thanks. give you 25 Thanks. Sorry, I didn't 25. realize this was going to spark such a conversation about the clothing we're wearing today. So. All Not right. quite $1.5 million. But. Brittany, save us, please. On <laughs> that, let's go to weather, guys. We have a lot to discuss. It's going to be warmer today. The wind's going to come back, and unfortunately, our risk for fire weather as well. But right now, Nebraska is pretty much cloud free. Definitely the eastern half of the state, which means temperatures dropped last night. Told you this was going to happen. Look at us this morning. Below that freezing mark, 28 degrees in Lincoln. It's 26 in Beatrice, 28 in Hebron, 37 much warmer for the Tri-Cities. That's in Hastings and 31 in Omaha. So below freezing, you need to have your winter layers on this morning. But we are about to climb what I like to call a temperature mountain. A big boost in temperatures later today as highs return to the low 70s. And while we love the warmer temperatures, it feels nice, right? It's not good for today. It's actually going to kind of help with our extreme fire danger today. We need that warmth, a little bit of a breeze and dry air. We have all the ingredients today. That's why a red flag warning will go into effect at noon, remaining in effect through 8 o'clock for all really of central and pretty much eastern Nebraska. And well, let's break down the ingredients. So that wind right now it's calm, a little bit of a break finally, but look what happens. 12 o'clock wind speeds increasing in eastern Nebraska, but mainly central around McCook. 33 mile per hour gusts and it only gets worse as we progress throughout the day. Close to 40 or high mile per hour gusts in central Nebraska further off to the east above 25. So right where we're seeing those highest wind gusts, we're also going to be seeing dry air. And this is actually a, the case for everyone today, not just in southeast Nebraska, but also off to the west. And notice how I keep pointing off in this direction. That's because we already have that high fire danger there. It's elevated today. Already wildfires burning there, so not a good situation off in central Nebraska and southwestern Nebraska. We're going to keep an eye on that, but thankfully tonight we do see that wind relaxing a little bit. So breezy. Upper 40s, mild for overnight temperatures and warm the next few days for highs. Holding on to the upper 70s. The good news is great for playing outside, but also we could get some much needed moisture. Daily rain chances start to increase going into Wednesday night, Thursday morning, some showers, some thunderstorms likely Friday night. And even if it's just a little bit of moisture, that could help us with that elevated fire potential near the second half of the week. So cross your fingers for moisture. We really need to see it. And eventually, we'll also see temperatures dropping for the weekend, at least for highs. But hey, overnight lows back above that freezing mark. You can put your plants outside. They can soak up the warmth, maybe a little bit of rain even. Love to hear that. All right. Thank you very much, Brittany. And before we head to